All right. <laughs> this is it. Ignore that little gap there. We're going to fix that in post. Um, this is it, though. Well, okay. This is the last time you're going to see the bike without any luggage rack on the back. Um, it's, it feels like it's been a while since I've done a GS vid. I think it's just because they were, they've been preloaded and because um, they were kind of, you know, loaded in advance and uh, published each day. So uh, it's, it's really hard to put into only a few words how much shit is on this bike. <laughs> it really is. Um, there's a lot, as you all know, after I think we're up to like 75 videos, maybe 50. I don't know, the whole full count. Um, so, let's try to back up here if I can. There's not a lot of room with this thing dead center, I guess. So next step is gonna be installing the luggage racks from Jesse Luggage. Um, I'm really looking, that's gonna be a collection of videos. We're gonna do a video on um, unboxing the new Challenger series and comparing them to the Odyssey series. There's gonna be a subsequent video on installing the rack, which I've done before. I've done a video on before, but it's gonna be much better because there's better lighting now. And then there'll be a video on installing the um, the uh, luggage rack, the lid racks in the new Jesse luggage. There'll also be a video on their brand new um, lid bags they just came out with and I'm really stoked to try out. And then there will be a video kind of throwing the boxes on and maybe the top box will have its own video. But yeah, there's going to be a, you know, a lot of Jesse content that kind of comes all at once for you guys. Um, we are three physical days away from riding. So I'm hoping to get all this done before the actual riding starts. Let's keep walking here. Um, but the Jesse luggage did come in, so it's here. I'll just walk around here and give you guys a nice view of things. It is in, in stock in the house. UPS just dropped it off. Oh yeah, the V-Stream Touring Deluxe is on. So uh, the Poig is off. It'll be sold soon. And um, I grabbed a brand new V-Stream Touring Deluxe. I've got another one up there in a box, but um, I just, it was, it was, it was looking bad. The, the bike looks so shiny and that windscreen looked so uh, shitty from just being used for like 14,000 miles, which isn't a lot, but it looked bad on the brand new bike. So I just decided to um, change it up. So grab the new one of those. Hope we're getting some gimbal view there. Uh, so yeah, new windscreen on the bike. That's what I'm gonna be using now that it's winter time. And I'll switch over to the Machine Art Moto slip screen once things are warmer. Beautiful, huh? So beautiful. Um, yeah, this is just a quick update. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lull update, meaning not laugh out loud, but just right up. We're at a stopping point as far as the current mods go. And I'm gonna show you guys the bike before we really tear into the, ooh, critical structural failure here. Here we go. Before we uh, throw the Jesse luggage on, which will completely modify how the bike sits on the, on the highway, how it sits on the outside of Starbucks, um, the bike will look significantly different once we have uh, put on the Jesse rugged luggage and rack. My gimbal is dying, so I'm going to uh, cut it start. I mean, it's really dying. I'm going to cut it short here. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, thanks for following along. This has been just a terrific journey. Thank you. Appreciate it.